Hello, everybody. Welcome to the last part of my Halloween mini album tutorial. In this part, we will work on the outside of the album and uh, also decorate the cover. Uh, I wrote down the dimensions of scrapbook paper that uh, will go on top of the album. I will also um, have the dimensions listed in the description box. And just a reminder, these are in centimeters, not in inches. So we're going to need a total of five pieces and I already cut those out. Um, those came from the Twilight collection. And let me just quickly show you the dimensions here before I glue them on. I think for the back here, I used a 20 centimeter piece instead of 19.8. 19.8 centimeters would be a bit short and you will end up with a larger border around. I like to keep my borders tiny, about 1 um, to 2 millimeters or so. So let's just quickly glue on these uh, paper pieces here and move on to decorating the cover. Okay, uh, we will move on to building a nice composition on the cover, but before we begin, let's just talk about that for a moment. So I think in my very first part of the tutorial, I mentioned that I want to make a bottle on the cover from um, clay, and um, so I had to change my idea because, well, I did make the bottle, and let me just show it to you. Um, here it is so um, I made that bottle and I also made a shaker to go inside the bottle but this figure ended up being way too heavy and it would most definitely deform the album 
and most likely fall off with time. So I had to come up with something different and easier for me and you guys because honestly making that bottle took quite some time. So um, to make our lives easier, I decided to just do a simple shaker instead and build my composition on top of that. Uh, I will still use this beautiful card on the background of my shaker. Thank God there are two of them in the ephemera pack. And uh, I already cut out uh, the frame pieces that I will be using. These are similar to the ones I used inside to decorate the envelope. Uh, I used a medium chipboard for that. I think it's about one millimeter or so thick and uh, my plotter did a very nice job cutting that out for me again i will leave a link to where you can download the cut files and cut it out if you have a cutting machine um we're gonna need a total of three frame pieces one whole piece in the base of the shaker um and one vellum piece and i'm using the vellum sheet from the twilight collection again I will begin assembling the shaker and I'll explain a few important things during the process.
I hope that what I've showed you so far was easy to understand. I just want to mention that it is important to spread the glue out at this step, like I'm showing here, to make sure it doesn't leak out once we press the vellum sheet on top of it. If it leaks out, it will leave dry glue marks. Also, shaker feeling may stick to it if we accidentally shake it before the glue had dried out. Um, I am carefully gonna place the paper clips on my shaker to ensure there is a strong adhesion between vellum and chipboard. Try not to tilt or shake the shaker until the glue has completely uh, dried out. I'm going to set that aside for trying and that will work on the last few shaker pieces. Over here I have a frame that I've cut out from scrapbook paper and I already added border stitch into it. The scrapbook paper piece will go on the top of the last chipboard frame piece but before I glue it I will color the edges um, with the black acrylic paint and our shaker will be done. ready to begin building my composition. I will be using this element with a witch on a broom as my main element. I already added hot glue on the back um, of it and cut this element apart. So one piece will go on one side of the shaker and the second one will go on the other side. But before I begin, um, I need to finish up my shaker really quick by painting the outside edges with acrylic paint. As always, I will have a um, decorating process sped up with the music on and if you have any questions you can always ask in the comments.
I am so sorry, you guys. My phone died right when I started adding、um, sequins and sage and crystals, and、uh, I only noticed that about halfway through the process. So I just、um, decided to go ahead and finish the rest of the album without recording, since there was not much left to do. Besides adding sequins and sage and crystals, I also added some splashes of. White and black acrylic paint, and I also did the same on the inside.、Um, I will be adding some tags in the pockets a bit later. For now, I just placed a card with a haunted、uh, house in here. I hope you enjoyed watching my tutorial and found it easy to follow. If you like to see more tutorials from me, please leave a like or a comment. This helps me a lot with、um, understanding what my audience wants, and also it's a huge support for my work and my channel. Thank you for staying with me until the end, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.